Good morning! Today, we're going to solve word problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of fractions and whole numbers. So let's solve this uh, following problem. We have here five problems. And let's solve it one by one. I'll show you how to solve problem number one. So the problem is a class of 40 pupils, two-fifths of them are boys. How many are girls? So as you can see, in this problem, we have 40 pupils. This 40 pupils is the total number of pupils. Ito yung kabuang bilang ng mga estudyante. Sinabi rin dyan na two-fifths of them are boys. And the question is, how many are girls? Now, let's find out first, what is the first step? We're going to first multiply 40 pupils by 2 fifth para malaman natin kung ilan yung bilang ng boys. So, ganito, 40 over 1. Ma'am, bakit uh, 40 over 1? Always remember that the denominator of a whole number is always 1. So we're going to multiply this with 2 fifth. Why do we need to multiply? In order to find out the number of boys in the class. So 40 times 2, we have 80. And then 1 times 5 is 5. Okay, and then we need to uh, simplify our answer. So the bar sign indicates operation to be applied is division. So sa fraction, yung bar sign, ibig sabihin yan, division. So 80 divided by 5, so we have 16. So, this 16, number 16, this is the number of boys. But the question is, ilan ba yung girls? So, right after that, so we apply multiplication, we need to, we need to subtract 40, 16. So, 40 minus 16 is... 24. Yeah. And that is our answer. So we have 24 girls in our class. In order to find out or to check if our answer is correct, so you need to add 24, 24 plus 16. So 24 plus 16, that is 40, and that's satisfy the equation that we have 40 pupils in a class. So that is the answer for problem number one. Next, let's solve problem number two. So Rene had 960 pesos. He spent one third of his money on food. How many were left to him? Ang pera ni Rene ay 960. Ginastos niya ay one-third nito. Ang tanong ay ilan yung natira sa kanya. So let's have multiplication first. So we need to multiply 960 to one-third. As I have mentioned, ang denominator lagi ng whole number ay 1. Ang pinakamadaling operation para sa akin is multiplication. Because you don't have to solve for the LCD. You just need to multiply the numerator to the numerator and then denominator to the denominator. Next, so 960 times 1 is obviously 960. And then... Divided by 3. Why 3? 1 times 3 is 3. 
And then, as I have mentioned also, that the bar in a fraction indicates that the operation is division. So, we need to divide 960 by 3. 160 divided by 3. So if we're going to divide this one, so we will have an answer of 320. So let's put the unit of peso. And so Rene spent uh, 320 pesos on food. So the question is, how many were left to him? So we need to subtract the total money of Rene to the money spent on food. So 960 minus 320 is... 640. So, therefore, we have 640 pesos for the money left to Rene. Okay? Let's continue. Let's have problem number three. So, we have Efren had 480 apples for sale. He sold three-fifths of them. How many were left? So we're going to now multiply the 450 apples of Efren. So 480 apples. So over one times three-fifths. Yeah, so 480, if we're going to multiply 480 by 3, 480 by 3, 3 times 4 is 2, plus 241, 4, 4, Okay, and then 1 times 5 is 5. And then we're going to divide 1,440 to 5. So, we will have 288. 288 is the apples sold by Efren. Now, the question is how many apples were left? So, we need to subtract now. 480 minus 288. So, oops. Let's erase this. Okay. So, we have 480. Minus 288 is 200 minus 8, 192. Okay. So we have now 192 as the number of apples left to a friend. So kay mayroon pa siyang 192 apples na kailangan niya ibenta. Next, let's go with... Uh, problem number four. So simply find the product of two fifth and three fourths. So very simple. So two fifth. So we need to multiply two fifth by three fourths. In multiplication, just the rule is you need to multiply numerator to the numerator, this one, and then this one. So 5 times 4 is 20. Now, 
it is not our final answer. Why? Because we need to simplify 6 over 20. We need to apply what we have learned from divisibility rules. So both numbers are even. So we can divide both numbers by 2. So 6 divided by 2. So let's erase this one. So we can divide both sides by 2. to get its lowest term. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then 20 divided by 2 is 10. So 3 is already a prime number. Therefore, wala na siya lowest term. So this will be our final answer. And that's the end of solving word problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of fractions and whole numbers.